How you doing there, math students? Uh, we're going to talk about a difference quotient today. Um, the diff well, this is pretty much all you didn't need to know about a difference quotient. The difference quotient is the average rate of change of a function from x to x plus h. Okay? If you know what the average rate of change is, great. If you don't, you might want to go find out. So uh, uh, let's just review what the average rate of change is. The average rate of change of a function is f of x2 minus f of x1 over x2 minus x1. Okay? That's for, uh, for any x1 and x2 on that, uh, uh, well, for any x1 and x2, okay? And so <clears throat> we say the, uh, the average rate of change is this on the interval from x1 to x2. So now what we're looking at is the interval from x to x plus h. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to, this is going to be f of x plus h, and this is just going to be f of x, and this will be x plus h minus x, which means you just end up with h. That is your difference quotient. Okay? Let's take a, a things always get clearer after an example. So let's look at an example. So let's look at the example f of x equals x squared plus 4x plus 8. And I want to find the difference quotient of this function. Okay, well, remember what we're doing. We're doing f of x plus h, make a better plus there, uh, minus f of x over h. So that's going to be f of x plus h is going to be x plus h squared plus 4 times x plus h plus 8. Okay, that's f of x plus h. Now I want to subtract f of x. x squared plus 4x plus 8 over h. Arithmetic gets kind of messy, but it's okay. Now we got to multiply this out. Okay, so this is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 4x plus 4h plus 8. That's all that part. Minus, now let's distribute the minus. Minus x squared minus 4x minus 8 over h. And good news is that's as messy as it's going to get. Because now we look at this and we say, hey, x squared and x squared, those go away. And uh, let's see, plus 4x minus 4x, those go away. And 8 minus 8, those go away. So I'm left with 2xh plus h squared plus 4h over h. And the h actually, I can, I can since these are all multiples of h, I can uh, just cancel that out. So this is going to be equal to 2x plus 4, that's the 2x, that's the 4, plus h. That is my difference quotient. So, you may be thinking, yeah, but w w what does that mean? Well, here, let's take a look at a graph. And uh, let me get that graph up there. So, here is x squared plus 4x plus 8. And what I'm doing is I'm using an h of 1. Okay? So, h can be any number. Your difference quotient is actually a function of two variables, x and h. Uh, but h, well, I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, so as I move my x along, what you see is the slope of that line is always the difference quotient, and it's changing as I move along. Okay? So the slope of the line, if h is small enough, gives you a pretty good, um, a good idea of kind of what the graph is doing at that moment, whether it's going down or whether it's going up. As a matter of fact, we can make h much smaller. There we go. And now, 
it looks like it's uh, practically a tangent to the curve. Okay, spoiler alert, in calculus, you're going to have h go all the way down to zero so that you can find the slope of the tangent line of the curve. Okay, now when you think about, well, hold it, if h goes all the way down to zero, rut row, I'm dividing by h. Yeah, that's why you got to take calculus to be able to do it because yeah, you got to, you got to, got to be tricky. Okay, uh, let's look at another example. Let's take the example of f of x equals 3 over x, okay? And I want the difference quotient of that bad boy. All right, I'm going to have f of x plus h minus f of x over h. f of x plus h is going to be 3 over x plus h minus 3 over x, and the whole thing is over h. Oh, goody. Subtracting fractions. All right. Well, that means I'm going to multiply this one by x plus h over x plus h, and this one by x over x. And so now what I'm going to get is... 3x minus, and actually, and this h right here, let me just rename this 1 over h times this stuff, okay? Dividing by h and multiplying by 1 over h is the same thing. So now I've got 3x uh, minus 3 times x plus h over x times x plus h, okay? And now, uh, I'm going to say, so that's 3x minus 3x minus 3h over, and I'm just going to include this h down here, h times x times x plus h. Oh my goodness. Okay. The three x's, they take care of each other, and I'm left with negative 3h over h times x times x plus h, and now I can cancel out the h's, and I'm left with negative 3 over x times x plus h, okay? So, uh, again, let's take a look at a graph and let's see if we can see what this is doing here. Uh, so it's gonna be three over x, right? And I'm gonna have h be one again. So here's our graph. Uh, that's the graph of y equals 3 over x. And as I move my x along, you can see that it's drawing, it's drawing a secant line. If you remember from geometry what a secant is, a secant intersects a circle in two different places. Well, any curve actually can have a secant line. And so this secant line is intersecting uh, our graph in at least two places here. And if I make h smaller like that, then it gets closer and closer to what might be a tangent line. And again, the difference quotient is telling you what the, uh, um, what the slope of this line is. All right, let's do one more. This time, let's have f of x be, uh, let's see, negative 2 thirds times x minus 6. Okay? So, difference quotient is f of x plus h minus f of x, everything over uh, h. Okay? f of x plus h is going to be negative two-thirds times x plus h minus six, and then I'm going to subtract negative two-thirds times x minus six, and all of that is over h. All right? This part is f of x plus h, and this part is f of x. 
let's just distribute out uh, everything we have there. So negative 2 thirds times x minus 2 thirds times h plus 2 thirds times 6 is 4 minus negative is plus 2 thirds x minus negative and then another minus is minus 2 thirds of 6 which is 4 and everything is over h. Okay. Uh, time to do some simplifying. Negative 2 thirds x, ne uh, positive 2 thirds x, plus 4, minus 4. And we're left with negative 2 thirds h over h, which is simply uh, negative 2 thirds. Oh, I fell for it again. This is a linear function. This could just as easily be written uh, negative two-thirds x plus four. So there's our slope, negative two-thirds. And remember, the difference quotient is an average rate of change, and a linear function has a constant rate of change. So the distance quotient, uh, sorry, the difference quotient for a linear function will always be the slope of that function. And sure enough, there's the slope, and there it is again. And uh, if I... Uh, well, you, you can imagine what the, uh, what the graph is going to look like. It's just going to look like a line. Okay, that's the difference quotient. As you can see, it is a simple concept. It's frequently very messy to actually calculate, but it's a very simple concept. All right, till the next video. Adios.